All right, and now I will tell you about how to order the tickets um, to a workshop through Kayak. Kayak is the best place. So what workshop? Um, initially, you go to Hukala, hukala.org, and there is a workshop menu here, and also workshop here, workshop here. So workshop. You click on the workshop, and um, it is in Buffalo area from August 3 to August 8 and if you are ready to register you read all the information you click register you pay so it's only hundred dollars down payment all right and after you have paid you end up in this page where <clears throat> you provide your information and once you provided your information Next step is to order tickets, air tickets, if you fly. <coughs> so again, you have to fly from, uh, you have to arrive August 3 to Buffalo Airport, where we will pick you up uh, using um, rental cars. And you have to fly out on August 8. So now let's go to Kayak. So Kayak <coughs> is where you order tickets. You find the tickets there. You find the tickets on Kayak, and then uh, Kayak sends you to the airline company where you buy the tickets. It's um, I do, I do, uh, it's very nice to buy the tickets from the airline that flies you, not from an intermediate reseller. So first I will show you the short way, and then I will explain the details. So the short way, you go to flights. You go to round trip. I fly from Los Angeles to Buffalo. I fly on 8-1, you fly on 8-3 or 8-2 and you have to arrive at um, August 3rd. And I come back 8-9, you come back, you, you depart on August 8, 8-8. So I stay extra time and you do the search. Okay, it's very handy to fly non-stop. Non-stop, you usually fly between the hubs, and both Los Angeles and Buffalo are big hubs. And if you filter by non-stop, you get only one ticket. You see that one, one uh, pair of tickets. So I would have to leave in the evening, come back in the morning, leave in the Live uh, on a second leg going from Buffalo to Los Angeles. I will live in the evening and come back in the evening. So you sh look at the details and the inconvenient detail that I come early in the morning next day. So I have to fly overnight, but that's acceptable. And that's about it. So you then go to I'll show you the details later about all the filters and how to find good flights. You go to View Deal and it opens the next page. So here Bluehost tries to sell me all extra stuff. But I have to go, I already kind of looked at it, I want to go with the cheapest possible. So the first leg of the flight from Lux to Buff, 162. Second leg of flight from Buff to Lux, 162. Okay, how do I go next? Continue. So that's the price. I will check it on the next stage. No bags continue for now. Okay. Sign in. Sign in. You don't have to sign in, but I like to sign in because it's easier later to look at stuff. Okay, so here I entered my information, address, and telephone. Click continue. Okay, fun, fun part. I uh, pick the seats. 
close to the aisle, close the bathroom. Next flight. Close the aisle, close to the bathroom. Next flight. No extras. Okay, now I check the, the times. Okay, I check the date, August 1, August 9th. I check the time. Evening, next day I in the morning. I check the time, evening, evening. And um, that's about it. Um, total, pretty good price. And I pay. So I choose to pay with the PayPal. PayPal is convenient, you don't give the card to them, you just pay through the PayPal. And you click purchase. Second time the offer is travel protection, I read, so the, the details are learned more and they are hidden there, but basically um, but it, it's, it's very extreme conditions which is not likely to happen, so it's not worth $22. Okay, so I choose not to protect. All right. And try again. All right, I ended up in PayPal. I log in. I pay 323. Continue. And that's the point of no return. It's official now. <laughs> All right. So, confirmation. Da 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 da, your flights. Da 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 da, all is standard. Da 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 da. Okay. Confirmation email, blah blah blah. Information. I think I'm all done in my Gmail and here is that flight you all set in the past they gave you e-ticket but now they don't give you e-ticket they just give confirmation code and your itinerary and that's about it so that that's how I bought the tickets round trip yay now now there um, tips and tricks how to use kayak it's art to travel. It is. Um, it requires understanding what to do and what not to do. Although some people are lucky and some people are spirit guided and some people are resilient and re no, how was that good word? Um, can can tolerate lots of stresses. Say for some people, just to stay overnight in the airport is not not critical. I have to sleep. I have to be. In comfortable energies so I'm paying attention you know if I sleep at night so that that's important for me also uh, the plane change that's uh, we'll, we'll discuss it in a minute so suppose you go so so we, I, I flew direct but what is what happens to my my travel trip so that's tri trip okay um, I have to get to Lux Los Angeles Airport from San Diego and it is two hour drive and there is no traffic. And you have to arrive to the airport at least two hours before the flight or better three hours. So that adds a lot to the travel, right? So I have to leave early. And I have two options. I can either drive, but then the car would be stuck there and I don't have an extra car for the family. So I would either rent a car <laughs> so I go to San Diego airport, rent a car, drive to Los Angeles airport, return the car there, and I check the price, it's $100 to do that. And on the way back, I do the same. I go to the airport, rent a car in Los Angeles, drive to San Diego, and that would be in the, in the night, 921. And some people have trouble driving at night. I think that that drive is okay, but yeah, I also don't like driving at night. I don't see well and I'm very sleepy. 
anyway. Uh, so what I learned is that I can uh, uh, sleep anywhere. So I can sleep in the car and I can sleep in the airport. I carry with me a nice uh, thick yoga mat. And I would put the yoga mat let me show you the picture. Hold on a second. I'll find the picture. All right. That is a possibility, but it's sort of bad energy to, to sleep on the bare stone floor. So I don't like it. And you don't look pretty. That's a little better. You have sleeping bags, but still you're kind of on the way. Right. And that is ideal. Everybody sees you. And this person looks like uh, one of the presidents, I think. Anyway, I don't have that sleeping uh, tent, which is look, looks very pretty. But I have um, the... Um, how do you call it? The yoga mat. And important thing, you don't want to leave your valuables, especially if you travel overseas, you don't want to lose your passport. So your money and the passport you want to keep on yourself. And I usually kind of hold on to the backpack so at least I have it on, uh, I touch it so I feel it and I can sleep. And the important thing, I have the noise blocking um, earmuffs and uh, uh, light blocking uh, eye mask and that gives you lots of comfort and of course I use um, the phone timer to not to be late to the to the plane so I have the com I have the confidence that I you know I will come I will wake up in time if you cannot do that if you cannot wake up on your phone or your phone runs of battery then you better not sleep or have a friend to watch over you but that gives me a lot of flexibility with the sleep in the in the overlays, how they say, layovers. Yeah, here is another arrangement. So you want to find a quiet place where nobody steps on you, right? Here somebody made a nice research and uh, showed good way of... Uh, <laughs> they It's it's inhumane. They, they make it really difficult for you. What can you do if you're stuck in the airport? Why can't you sleep? But no, they make it impossible to sleep. All right. Anyway, second choice would be taking a train and it's about five hours and surprise, even if you if I flew directly from San Diego to Buffalo, that would be the same five hours about the same price. So it's not not much. Uh, I, I wouldn't gain much by um, by flying with one stop from uh, San Diego. I spent today the whole day research on all the options and uh, it was worth it I I really have to think through so first mistake I made was um, I found my mistake I thought if I fly in on the third as as everybody and leave on eighth maybe it was all right but then I realized I need an extra day so I have to fly on the second and then I realized I need another extra day so I fly on the first so if I come two days early so Part of that is taken by the flight, but then I have time to relax, find the Reiki tables, find the uh, the minivans, rent whatever, the, the cars, and um, and organize everything. So I would be in good shape when in, uh, when I'm uh, when the people start arriving. And the same thing with the leaving. I have to watch everybody to leave, and then make sure nobody is left behind. And that the cars are returned, and the owner of the of the camp is happy. All right. So how do you order uh, more complex tickets, or more complex flights on the kayak? So click kayak, and um, this time we go through. Say I, I wanted to fly from San Diego, for example. So, so you go to San Diego Airport. Uh, suppose some dates doesn't matter. Now there are you don't have options for the uh, dates, so so you don't really want to fly on different dates because we will be picking you up and uh, you have to leave with exact dates. So use exact dates. Um, Now, top filters, that's what you use. So now you, there is no direct fly from, see, non-stop, there is zero. 
So you pick, and you don't want two stops. It's like crazy. So one stop. That's that's first criterion. Second criterion is layover. You don't want too short of layover. It's like almost guaranteed. 32 minutes. It is guaranteed you <laughs> you will be late. <laughs> so you really want at least 50. 57 it says 56 minutes at least all right then you want to make sure when you look at each flight show details you want to make sure you fly on the same same uh, airline because same airline usually <coughs> lands and uh, departs from the same terminal you really do, don't want to be running in this um, 56 minutes running between the terminals because it takes longer all right so when you check your flights with layovers make sure it is the same thing and if you really want to make sure like if you really want to make sure you you can find information you take the name of the flight delta a333 and it actually if you google it it tells you which terminal it arrives and and which terminal it departs so that is key information so you want to make sure it arrives, the previous flight arrives, the next flight departs from the same terminal, okay? And you don't want layover of 23 hours, you probably maximum you can tolerate, I don't know, 6 hours, 5 hours. Optimal is about 1.30, it's not too little, not too much, because they made the flights very cheap, they made the tickets very cheap, but now they, the airlines allow themselves to to shift around, make the flights, delay the flights, cancel the flights because it's comfortable for them and the rules are such that they just shift you around. But if the previous flight comes late and or the next flight is uh, canceled, uh, they just shift you around but you stay in the airport for a long time, like you can stay there for a day. Okay, so that's why um, layovers stops are not as good you better drive or take a train which really goes on schedule and airplanes now are so flexible they they can screw you up all right but anyway if you have to you have to i mean also if if there is a chance that you will be especially bad are uh, two airports with layovers kennedy international in new york and chicago chicago airport or here so if these airports, if you use these airports, which are famous for delays and cancel and te terrible layovers, what you do, you make sure you fly the second part of your flight is not the last flight. So if they cancel that flight, you s and you, you should be in the middle of the day, so there will be several more flights which they can, now they would reassign you to that. So if they tell you your flight is canceled, you go to the information desk, you know, they reassign you, you know, don't cry, don't be upset, just take it easy. <laughs> Eventually you will arrive. All right, so flight lag. Again, you don't want 35 hours. You want maximum. Yeah, so maximum, like, it's like 9 hours, so maybe 13 is maximum, okay? So uh, the layover is, is critical, okay? So don't make it too short, too long, okay? Next important uh, filter is, is price. 2000 is a bit too much. You possibly want, like within lowest 20% or 30% or something like that. Okay. Uh, so now you get... 447 combinations of flights. It's not individual flights, it's combinations of flights. And you start looking at them, show detail, blah, blah, blah. Now, which airlines to fly? Uh, among the popular ones, JetBlue is number one. It's really good ratio of reliability. They don't screw you up as frequently. They are nice to you. They, you know, the people are nice. It's kind of comfortable and uh, happy airline. Second would be American. It's pretty good. And the worst one is United and Delta. I think Delta is the worst one. United is also pretty bad. 
let me give you the reference. It's, it was hard to find the comparison, but here is one comparison. Basically, uh, basically JetBlue is among the top ones. Um, United and Delta is on the bottom. My my experience with American was pretty good. American I liked, and I also liked Southwest was pretty West was pretty good. So these are there's a total index of the results, and you can find it on Lifehacker, the best and worst airlines in the U.S. More filters. Mm. It is important when you depart, so you can put the time when you really can get in the airport. So you need about three hours be be before before the flight. So um, and you need to sleep at night. So usually you would kind of estimate it right and also pay attention to the traffic. And then um, there is also landing times. You don't want to land uh, some sometime. Uh, very late, like early in the morning, so or late at night. So you probably want to to adjust it. Let me see. You can arrive. So landing late is good, but you don't want to to be too late. So like three in the morning is not very good time. So maybe you you can estimate you can filter that. Uh, so for both. Uh, both flights you have the control over where they depart and where they arrive. Okay. And it is still too many results. So you possibly want to look first at uh, one American Airlines, for example, one airline, and then kind of pay attention to the flights. They're about the same sort of multiple combinations, like Chinese restaurant. They have few flights of one kind and few flights of another kind, but then they Combine them in all possible ways, and that makes it a huge list. Okay, and uh, again, you want uh, two parts of the flights to be from the same company, so you don't have to change terminals. And also, one company takes care of their passengers. If they have to, if they shift passengers around from one company to another, it's really hard to get who is responsible for you. So you run between different uh, information desks, and they send you back and forth until. Finally, you know, somebody takes pity on you and assigns you to a new flight. All right. And you look at the flights, show details, and I see that some flights you have to do layover for um, uh, in the middle of the night. And also some sometimes it's layover like can be very long, like in Chicago. By the way, in Chicago, there is a swimming pool. Uh, in the airport, there is a... In the middle of the airport, there is hotel, and under the hotel, there is a swimming pool. So for twenty dollars, I think uh, you can instead of sitting, uh, sitting and um, being um, uh, depressed by an, by the unhappy energies of the airport, you can go and swim. There is a big cabinet where you can hide your bags and go swim in a wonderful swimming pool. All right, um, and that's about it. That's how you. This is how you do your research, pick the companies which you like. They send the kayak doesn't sell you the tickets. They are on the aggregator, so they send it to the company, and then you kind of can also adjust your choices there. But basically, kayaks gives you the ideal choice. So pay attention to what is here, and then later it would be easier to find it in the in the airline um, airline. A website and order it there and I, somehow I find this entertaining and fascinating to find good tickets while you consider the options it's like traveling you trial in your imagination and it is a learning experience basically you think what would, would what you would do in that situation what you would do in that situation and it is pretty profound it's pretty material and pretty and pretty experiential, I would say. So have fun choosing your tickets. Um, think it through. Uh, take a breath. And uh, if you need advice, get advice from someone. You can ask me or, uh, yeah, the email for us is, um, you know, it, it's in every, every other time. But it's workshop at um, Hukula. 
So send a mail to workshop at ukula.org and uh, we can give you some advice with ordering the tickets. And uh, we need um, drivers, of course, and we need a coordinator of the pickup of the transportation. So if someone is good with that, good with timing, I think the coordinator has to be in the airport on the 3rd, People would arrive and the coordinate, they will meet with a coordinator which will sit somewhere there. Maybe in some sort of past the baggage there will be some kind of nice place, maybe Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. It is Buffalo International Airport. I'm not sure where is Starbucks there, but I think there are possibly multiple terminals. So that coordinator might want to be sitting there and having the cell phone and the charger plugged into the wall so they wouldn't run out of charge or oh, lots of extra batteries or one big battery and would receive the calls do the texting and uh, we will do the renting and pickup I think we will rent several cars and um, people will drive each other until we have uh, all uh, about 30 participants um, happily reunited in the in the camp and then you'll have to return some of the cars and keep maybe a couple of the cars so it's it's a challenge but i think it's lots of fun especially fun is driving together so people meet physically for the first time and then they have hour and a half of drive from sun uh, from buffalo airport to the camp uh, i think that's fun and later on the 8th we'll do the opposite and we'll deliver everybody to the to the airport to their um, flights to your flights and uh, and they'll go home all right thank you very much uh, it was long but I hope it is helpful for someone it is nice um, nice we, we get so much freedom and control in choosing I like choices okay have a good day bye